Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Welcome to lesson six in Piano for Beginners. Last week I showed you what major scales are and today we're gonna see what minor scales are. Now, like you could see in the preview in the intro, there are a couple of scales that I've done. First that you've seen was this one. And this is the A minor scale. Then I play the C major scale, which was this one. And then I play the C minor scale, which was this one. Now, why did I play those three in the intro? I played the C major scale because that was the one that I used in example last week, this one. And in the major scales, I explained to you that between the third and the fourth, and between the seventh and the eighth, there's only half a tone in between those and there's a full tone in between all the rest of the notes. In minor scales, it's a little bit different. Instead of between the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth, there's actually half a tone between the second and the third and then between the fifth and the sixth. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Now, why did I play the A minor scale and the C minor scale exactly, specifically? Because those are uh, in relation to or comparable to the C major scale. The A minor scale, this one, I play it because it's actually all the same notes that we use in the C major scale, this one. It's easy to see because those are all the wide keys and in the A minor chord that's also all the notes that we use. Now, what is the difference between the A minor scale and the C major scale? It's the point at which it starts, of course, and the feel of the scale. But you can use all the same notes to play. But how do we get to this minor scale? Now, when we start with the C major scale, we just go down one and a half tones. And then we can play all the same notes, but from that point on, and we have the minor scale then with all the same notes. Right? So, if we have a major scale and we go down one and a half tones, then we can use the same notes and we have the minor scale with all the same notes. Now, why did I play the C minor scale? Because it's easy to compare to the C major scale. So, the C major scale, this one. Because then we can see what the changes are from a major to a minor scale at the same key, that is. Uh, in this one, we see in the C major scale that we have all the white notes. In the C minor scale, we have a couple of black keys like this. So, what are the differences? All the black keys in this one. Practically, that means the E from the C major scale becomes an E flat in the C minor scale. Then we have the A in the C major scale that becomes an A flat. And finally we have the B in the C major scale that becomes an B flat in the C minor scale. Okay, so those are the differences between the C major scale and the C minor scale. But like I told you, every minor scale is linked to a major scale but it's one and a half tones lower than the major scale with the same notes. Now, of course, we can play the same notes with our left hand as well, but it's the same notes exactly, uh, and you start with the same notes. For example, let's take the A minor scale as well. So it's not between the second and the third note and between the fifth and the sixth right here because I go down, but it's the same notes that we can use for this scale. So guys, that's basically it. You can do this for every note and every scale that you do. So if you play a major scale, it's perhaps a good exercise to try and find the minor scale for that. Just go up one and a half tones lower and then play all the same notes, but it's starting at a different point. Then you have the minor scale with the same notes. Or you can start with the major scale and, and try to search for the minor scale in that same key. And then you have to search for differences there. 
okay? So guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Last week I told you and sh last week I showed you what my last last week then I played the C major scale with, with now first of all I played the C major chord now I play and in the A major and in but how do we but how do we get to this ma but how do we it's because it's easy to compare com just use the same notes and go half just go half then you have the minor scale with so that's blade so